Alrighty friends, welcome in. So in today's video, we are checking out this week's weekly challenge. So without further ado, let's take a peep. Ah. <laughs> yes, I've been waiting for this one. The apocalypse draws near. The hardest possible challenge, but with normal investigator speed. Good luck. Go find the ghost type in Sunny Meadows Restricted. Oh wait. Was it always on Sunny Meadows Restricted? I can't remember, but still, either way. This is probably my favorite weekly challenge from like the last cycle. Let me double check. It did just say Sunny Meadows Restricted, right? Yes. Okay. Two Sunny Meadows Restricted. Here we go. Now, my 150 go speed is pretty rusty. So, this is probably going to be uh, a little bit of a challenge at first. Oh, I thought. God, why do I have two, three smudges though? Okay. So, probably what we're going to do first is. Oh, we do have night vision goggles. It's actually huge. Okay, we'll grab those. I'm trying to think if I want to just vibe out by the front door, or if I want to try to make all the way to the chapel. So for this challenge, I would definitely recommend taking a crucifix in, because there is a zero second grace period. So if the ghost were to hunt on top of you, it would just be instant death. Um, whereas if a crucifix, it'll use the crucifix first. So, uh, I guess just like vibe out here for the first game. Or first hunt. See where it actually is. Okay, so it's close. I just heard it throw something. It's a revenant. <laughs> There's actually no way. First ghost is just a rev. Okay, so the reason I know it's a revenant is because it's super duper slow. When we go so it would be this slow is um I get this speed is a revenant. I can't really tell if he's getting close to me or not. I think that's already over. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab a crucifix and get the heck out of here. <laughs> I remember last time we did the challenge, I got super lucky with the ghost types as well. So hopefully we get a couple hard ghosts. Or maybe I'll like keep doing the challenge until we get a hard ghost so I can show you like my strategy. But as revenant, because it was super duper slow. Let's see if we're right. Nice. All right, Let's round two. Let's do it. Let me double check them. Yep. Okay. Let's go. Okay. I think this time we're gonna try to go all the way to the piano hiding spot. I think that's gonna be our. Here we go. When you see, try to run there. Alright, so far so good. Okay. Awesome. Alright. I was kind of looking at like what part of the map that unlocked is we're coming over. So we don't have the left wing. Do we have the basement? It's either um we have east wing or basement. I didn't quite get to see. I also realized too I should probably get my smudge timer up on screen. We'll probably do some smudge timers. Right, well, I'm assuming the ghost is hunting. And I don't hear it. So I might go try to peep around like what areas we have unlocked. Okay. Can you walk around our crucifix though? I mean it could still be in the front, it's just like too quiet to hear. Let's see. We have the basement! Okay. Oh god, these stairs. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and do another pit stop. Right here. Let's see if we can hear it. Why do I hear like I hear ghosts walking around the squishy room right now? Like I was literally just pushing my earbuds into my ears. Is that just what the rain sounds like now? Okay. Um, I don't hear it. So. Okay, good. We got the the good side of the basement unlocked. That's huge. The other side has like one hiding spot at the very end of the hallway. So we're gonna try. Go in there. Make a pit stop in here. Okay. Yeah, it's down here, okay. Can't quite hear it though. I think it's the fast one. I think it's like just slightly faster than normal. Let 
Let me see. Alright, hunt's over. Keep vibing out right here. Now, definitely for this challenge, remember to turn your night vision goggles off when you're hiding, because the ghost will sense them. I was just about to like turn them on so we could see. I was like, oh, wait, this ghost is gonna like send someone come straight over here. So basically what I'm looking for right now to confirm twins is uh, either sounding a little bit slower than normal 150 speed or that's kind of basically <laughs> the, the main thing that will tell me that this is twins. Hmm? I heard it for a second. And it still sounds fa slightly fast. Unless my 150 speed's off. It could also be like a Hansu. All right, there's one more hiding spot I want to go. That's a little bit further down. Oh god, where'd I put the priest fix though? All right, are you done? Okay. Our next pit stop is gonna be right here. Okay, cool. we're a lot closer now. All right. I'll just hold the crucifix so I don't lose it. This should protect us in here just fine. Yeah, it still sounds slightly really faster than normal. I think. Huh? Actually, this may be normal 150. Okay, so next time, we'll try to get a visual of it. Okay, we're gonna go in this room. This. Okay. Okay, so it's in the room right next to me. Cool. Let's do something in there. Oh, God. <laughs> Dude, that is so freaky in Die Vision. Jesus. Oh, so now it's in here. Okay, well, there's a vent in here, so it's not like too weird. Oh, now I'm seeing my breath in here. Okay. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right. So if we use this crucifix one more time, I prefer to loop it in here. If we use this crucifix one more time, we'll get out of this spot, though, because I don't want it to hide on top of me. Um. And we'll get another crucifix. And I guess maybe I'll try to get its aggro down there. You feel like over years you don't use the crucifix to the wall. And this could also mean that it's like a demon. I heard the speed wrong. It's a normal speed of ghost. And it was has an increased range of the crucifix. And it is taking its sweet time hunting though. I will say that. Oh, okay. So we got to get out of this spot. <laughs> Um, so that's kind of interesting because it seems like it's doing stuff in the other room, but it's using the crucifix while I'm in that room. So I almost want to like, let's go get another crucifix just to be safe. And then we'll come back and try to actually like smudge the ghost and get a visual of it. And see, if maybe it could be a demon. This is interesting. Yeah, it's using the crucifix in that room. When I am in the other room or like when I'm in that room when the ghost sounds like it's in the other room. Okay, it is hunting. We should be okay to just sit here. Okay, hunt is over. My last crucifix. Oh boy. Probably took that off for a sec. Okay. So I gotta be really careful since our last cruci. The rain sounds so much different when you're in the basement, which is cool, right? So it's supposed to sound like it sounds like much farther away. It's cool. Hunting, we should be fine right here. And if not, this could be a good way to test for you, okay? All right, hunt is over. So I'm gonna try to bring it like down to probably this area. So I'm gonna like stand like maybe here and try to aggro it over. Go see. Oh, he's affecting my radio from really far away. Go see. Yeah, definitely, mm? yeah, definitely not my lane. Go see. I think maybe Raiju is. Go see. Is he coming down? Go see. Oh, yeah. See, I got way, way faster when he got closer to my night vision goggles. Was Hunter already over? Okay. Now, I guess there's also a chance for a Mimic, because I felt like the speed was weird earlier. Um, and we could check for that just by putting, like, some electronics in the hallway and see if it gets faster. 
we're gonna just do the same thing. So I might just double check for Mimic real quick, just to be- I keep forgetting we have sprints. Um, just to be extra safe. The first reason I was- or the first way I was able to tell that was probably Raiju is that it seemed like it was affecting my radio. Like, causing it to static from, like, way further away than a normal ghost would. Which also, it, it wasn't able to, like, sense my radio either, even though it was affecting it. And then it finally got close enough to, like, actually hear my radio. But then the second reason I was able to tell is because once it got close enough within range of my night vision goggles, it got really, really fast. So, we'll just go back and we'll see if it still affects our radio from really far away. And then I might, like, just smudge it one more time. Get it to come over. So at this point, if it's a mimic, it'll probably have changed ghosts. Okay, well, not an Oni. <laughs> I think it's a ghost event. Did the ghost events in here sound so weird? Because it sounds like the Yuri ability. I think that was like too many doors slamming to be the Yuri ability. I thought that happened to me before. I was like, oh my god, the Yuri ability? And it was just a ghost event. Oh, but now you're over here. Not like a huge, huge fan of that. Um, okay. Let me hide for a second. Because he's like really close. Like, a lot closer than I wanted for this test. But also, why isn't he hunted? It's been like over three minutes in this much. It's weird. Oh. Okay, that's like super weird. Um. Hmm. <laughs> We're gonna get out of that spot. I, like, I guess maybe he's just roaming if he's still a Raiju. But that's, like, kind of far from his ghost room, right? Let's go over here and see if we get, like, the same result. Now he's hunting. Okay. All right, my test for, since he's pretty close, my test for Raiju again, if I can. Ghosty. Oh, yeah, he's picked on my radio from pretty far away. Ghosty? Ghosty. Oh yeah, it's already over. He went, did he change rooms? Oh, this is so scoffed because he's like, I guess maybe we can go to the other hiding spot now. If he's over here. Let's see. Um, Let's like hide here and see where he's coming from. I mean, obviously it tests for Mimic right now. What we could do is like go check the room for orbs. Um, it's just kind of risky with it being zero grace period um, that I'd just rather like see the behavior change. So I just want to confirm around you real quick. Okay, I do think I hear him throwing things back in the other room now. I think that's behind me. Ghosty. Oh yeah, I still ride you. If I was affecting my radio. Ghosty. So much so he's not even aggroing to it. Ghosty. Okay. Ghosty. Is he actually sensing it now? Ghosty. Ghost. Yeah. Okay. That's all I needed to hear. He just got a little wonky because he started like following me around and using and also took like three minutes on, so. Uh some people might be thinking Yokai here, but I think he was like too far away to actually sense my radio. Because he was a Raiju, he was affecting him from farther away, so outside the range of, like, what a ghost would sense. So. I don't think Yokai. I don't think it's, like, mimicking Yokai. Okay, let's just see if we can get out of here. Maybe we could check the cameras. Let's see. I don't think... See, yeah. Okay. All right, there's a camera right there, but we wouldn't see orbs. All right, let's look at you. Let's see. Welcome back. Nice. This is indeed a Raiju. All right, we got one more game. Let's go do it. All right, so still going the same loadout. Night vision goggles, crucifix, and smudge. And again, I'm going to try to make it to the chapel. I feel a little bit safer there, because if you're at the, like, the front where I was, I think we're at the basement again as well. Um, I just like to- like, like, Oh, okay, and it's in the front. Alright. So I'm glad we went over here. 
I just feel a little bit safer here. Like, you have to buy the front door. If it comes over there, you gotta smudge and just hope it doesn't come back. But here, the ghost usually doesn't path over here. All right, so first one, we'll just listen to its speed, see if its speed sounds anything spicy. And if not, then we'll try to get a visual next time and a smudge timer going. Okay, I'm pretty sure normal speed. Actually, I might try to aggro him over. Ghosty. Ghosty. There we go. Alright. Looks pretty normal, visual wise. Get smudge shimmer going. I do believe the hunt's already over. Oh! Okay, it's a little interesting that she lingered here and played the piano. <laughs> okay. Um. Now, unfortunately, I don't really have like a light switch here to check to see when it hunts again. Oh, um, it could maybe do. Um, I'll just try to listen for the footsteps, I guess. Since we're close enough to actually hear it hunt. So what I can cross off based off that first experience, um, I'm pretty sure she was normal blank. Um, normal speed. Found us when we called for her. Oh, okay. Well, that's interesting that she's doing things here, though. Now I'm starting to think like a teleporty ghost. Um, she was hunting all the way from the front. Now she's here, which I got a, a fun way to test for the teleporty ghost. Okay. <laughs> and that's my cue to get out of there. So the way we're going to test where the teleporty wandering goes is we're going to just hang out by the front, which I know I said it's kind of risky, um, but it's one of the best ways to do this. Okay, let's just get what I want to grab is salt motion sensor EMF. Let's see, salt motion sensor EMF. And then another cruise fix, of course. Couple smudges. And we could use a pair of mic to try to get a banshee scream, but with the zero second grace period, I always get a little nervous doing that. Oh, a camera, maybe, in case she goes to events. All right. Okay, oh, wait, she wasn't a phantom, right? Because of the blank. So she's going to be a right there banshee. So basically, she steps in the salt. Um, she'll be a banshee. I guess we'll go and grab prayer mic. Maybe I'll I'll try to use it. And down there. I'd like to have this on me. And then alright. Cruise fix. We'll put like over here. Okay. So what I wanna do is get a motion sensor set up right here. Some salt. I usually just put the salt like in front of me. Yeah, she's back over here now. Um, we'll have the... Oh, I think Wraith, yeah? Maybe, wait. I... Oh, Jesus. EMF at our feet. I could have sworn I brought a camera in. Did I... Is it in my hand? Well, I don't need a camera because it's not, yeah, it can't be a phantom. Okay. Let's go try the Paramite. Oh, God, okay. Pretty sure she's activating this motion sensor and not stepping in the salt, though, right? Yeah. So the EMF is a test for the Wraith ability. See if we ever get the Wraith ability. I'm gonna grab some more salt. Okay. So let's put some like more salt just around the room here. Okay. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> they haven't accepted any salt, and the motion sensor's going off. See, then she does that, it confuses me. I'm gonna set my, my vision goggles off, so. I have one less thing to have to remember to turn off. Okay. That's a ghost event. Not a ghost event. Okay. 
<laughs> it sounded on the paramedic, it sounded like really slow. That's why. It sounded like normal speed. Okay, that's my cue that the hunt is over. <laughs> Alright, I'm trying to see if I can't get like the race without t TP ability right now. I mean, they're walking all up in here and haven't stepped in any salt. So let's just go ahead and save us the trouble of sitting here and <laughs> waiting for the race TP ability. A banshee, if it was stalking us, would have definitely stepped in one of those salt piles. And I haven't seen any of that salt disturbed yet. So the reason I was able to come down to Wraith is because when it, the first time it hunted, it was in the front, right? Like in the lobby area. But then the second time it hunted, or like the second time I tried to hunt, it was like all of a sudden on top of us in the chapel, which is kind of weird for it to be all the way over there. So on, when I'm at like these kind of settings, I usually to test for Wraith, Banshee, Phantom, which are the ghosts that would probably be doing those kinds of things, like following you around. I just go to the front with like a crucifix. Set up some salt, motion sensor, see if it steps in the salt. If it does step in the salt, not a wraith. This ghost didn't step in the salt, so it is a wraith. And then if it steps in the salt, um, if I've gotten a visual on it and it doesn't look like a phantom, like it's blinks pretty normal, then I'll probably at that point with a banshee. Obviously, you could sit there with a paramic, see if you got a banshee scream, but it's a little risky with it being zero second grace period. Um, I actually love, like, on these settings, or even, like, for gold trophy settings, I love getting a Wraith fan from our Banshee, because you can literally test for it at the front. You don't have to go very far. Da -da -da. Nice. We actually got a Wraith that was, like, using its ability pretty frequently, too, which is nice. I've seen people on the gold trophy have a Wraith that only TP to them, like, one time, so. Let's see, how many times did you use your ability? Yeah, right. Okay, I TP'd us three times. Cool. Nice. All right. Well, that is pretty sure. Yep. Those are all our games for this uh, weekly. Uh, let me talk about it really quick because some of the ghosts that are really tough to test for are going to be Mare, Yuri, Gorio, and on this difficulty, since the breaker is broken, also Jin. Mare, the only way to test for it on this difficulty is to try to turn a light on in the room and see if it immediately turns it off. You can still get the Mare light switching ability when the breaker is broken. However, <laughs> the ghost is so fast, your second gray spread, it might be hard to get near the ghost room. So. Best of luck with that. Uh, Yuri, you can listen for that door slam or the double door touch. Also, you could try to smudge it with motion sensors set up at the doorway and see if it ever leaves its room in 60 seconds because they get trapped in their room for 60 seconds after you smudge them. But sometimes ghosts just don't want to leave their room. So that is an option if you don't get the double door touch, you try and test for Yuri. Gorio, if the ghost never leaves, it's never changed its favorite room. Potentially a Gorio. And then Jin. <laughs> Kind of if you cross everything else off, because with the breaker being broken, you can't test for the gin. All of its abilities are gone with the breaker being broken. So every other ghost, you can go about doing your normal tests. Um, like with how, with, since we have normal player speed, you could probably get close enough to the ghost room with some crucifixes and lanterns and try to test for Onryo. So yeah, I know this challenge might be difficult because the ghost is so fast. It might be weird trying to figure out like the ghost speed was normal. Like that first game, I thought it was twins and it was just normal ghost speed. But I have the utmost faith in you all. You guys got this. Uh, but those are all the games I have for you guys in this video since we have completed our challenge. Best of luck to you all in this challenge as well. Uh, if you liked the video, make sure to drop the video a like. If you'd love to drop me a sub, good luck ghost hunting, and I will see you in the next one.